Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you see, I'm in the car. I'm actually currently traveling, but I wanted to put up a quick video for you guys. Now this recipe is actually fully eczema friendly. It even works with stage one. If you have very severe eczema, don't do this. You need to just be eating super clean. But if you're starting to transition out of stage one, you're starting to heal, this is definitely a fun little treat for you, especially if you love sweets. So these are energy bites, eczema healing bites, and we're gonna hop right into this video and I'm gonna show you how to make them. All you really need is a blender or you can grab a big bowl and a spatula and really mix everything together. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you need a can of white beans. And so you're gonna put this can of white beans, you can actually sub for chickpeas if you don't have white beans. And make sure if you're using chickpeas that you take the little shells off of the chickpeas. If you just grab the chickpea and kinda go like this to it, a white film looking thing will come off. So put the beans in the blender and blend that all up. Next we're going to be adding one scoop of tahini and one scoop of cashew butter. The very next thing you're gonna do is add in some bone broth. So I use Ancient Nutrition's bone broth in the flavored chocolate. This is fine for most people with eczema. So I'm gonna put two scoops of that right into the container once everything has been blended together. Next we're going to be adding maca powder and then two scoops of cassava flour. And then the next thing you have to add is a monk fruit sweetener. And so I did about half of a tablespoon. Okay, so then you blend all of that together. And then the next thing you're going to add is a little bit of sea salt. And then from there, I actually added in another tablespoon of cassava flour because my batter was a little bit on the wetter side and you need it dry enough so that you can mold it between your hands. And then after that, you are pretty much done. And so then we're going to roll all of the balls. And so take about a tablespoon and a half size chunk. You roll them in your fingers and you put them on the plate and then Basically, all you're gonna do is create a chocolate sauce. And so this chocolate sauce, if you put the energy balls into the freezer, it'll create a hard glaze on your energy bites. And so it's just coconut oil and chocolate chips melted together, and then you just drizzle it right on top. So I told you guys that this recipe was super easy, but not only that, it's super healthy for eczema. So the bone broth actually contains collagen, which helps repair your gut lining. In addition to that, bone broth also contains glycine. Glycine will help you sleep, it'll help reduce the itching, and then something that I like to do is keep everything on the low glycemic index. So I've noticed the difference with increased glucose levels in the blood. So let's say you're eating lots of refined sugar, which you shouldn't be, you're eating lots of maple syrup, an increase in your glucose levels will actually create a flare-up. So that's why in this recipe I'm using monk fruit sweetener instead. And the body actually doesn't metabolize that at all and it doesn't spike your glucose levels, which is also good for people with diabetes. Diabetes. So, thank you guys so much for watching this, and if you try this recipe, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm excited to see what you guys think. See you guys in my next video.